So now in this video we're going to look at this latching relay that I got and unfortunately it's not exactly what I was hoping it was and I think it's because it is a latching relay but not a self-latching uh, self relay and so I'll probably order a different one in some time and make a future video but in any case right now the current that you see there that is to keep all of this running this is a normally open and normally closed switch so the LED that is on is the normally closed part we have a resistor an LED the red jumper and then it goes to ground now we're just gonna hit the button just give a quick pulse and you can see that the output flipped and so this is the normally open switch right there the normally closed so now the normally closed switch is open the LED is off the normally closed switch or the normally open switch I mean is on so resistor LED and then it's coming to ground so in any case I have the bench power supply breadboard power supply is powering the LEDs the current that we see is coming from the bench power supply positive side of the bench power supply is coming to this uh, probe there I clipped it there and then the yeah, black probe I took my alligator clip with jumper wire crimped to it and that is going to the positive side of the uh, input there so right now that current that you see basically 80 milliamps of current is coming from my bench power supply which is separate from what we got uh, going on at the uh, switch part the uh, breadboard is powering that so we can turn the breadboard off and the LEDs go off you see no uh, current change these are 470 ohm resistors by the way 220 ohms would work just fine we got 5 volts there and also 5 volts at the uh, module here so as you can see we got 80 milliamps of current needed from the power supply just to keep the switch uh, switched basically and then we set it back to its normal position and we still need some current there so it's not uh, current free even when it's completely off but it's a whole lot less in in this state here so this is the uh, normal state and we have this uh, little plug there for these jumpers to wire to a switch so we don't have to use that switch we can use a digital switch and uh, maybe uh, I'll get a video of that in the future but in any case unfortunately this module was not exactly what I hoped for I was hoping it locked into place on its own and then didn't need much current after that until you flipped back so we got the red LED I think that just shows that it's on and when I hit the button now it's switched you can see the green LED on so that lets you know that it is switched on and it is using eight times as much uh, power right there so I have the bench power supply set to 5 volts this is a 5 volt relay they also have 12 volt relays out there but uh, in any case still pretty cool you would want to have it in this setting when you need to conserve on power and then when energy storage if you're using batteries and when you don't need to conserve as much uh, stored power then you would want to make sure you have it set up so it's switched into this state because you have the normally open and the normally close you can pick uh, whether the circuit uses one or both of those and you gotta decide which one so in any case hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching I will see you in the next video